of libraries are interested in metricizing sort of what people are paying attention to in the, in the, in the building. Uh, when you have a new book display, why do people only take things from one end and not the other? Um, those, sorts of, those sorts of questions. And you know, how are your study rooms being used? How are your open spaces being used? Are they being used you know, throughout the day or only at certain times? What we do is we invite people to um, take, come to the library, meet face to face in a small group, five to eight people, and then take an online course together. We, uh, we started thinking about the library as a, as a potential partner in this, and um, it just was such a nice combination to uh, realize that the librarians were really passionate about playing a role in the online learning space. We go to libraries and we teach them about basically the state of digital privacy, um, what we know about you know, various threats to privacy and surveillance, um, criminal hacking, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then we teach about privacy enhancing technologies that librarians can install on library computers or teach to patrons in computer classes or one-on-one -on -one technology sessions. Uh, most of the privacy education out there was very one size fits all. Uh, as most of you know, our online lives and our offline lives are not very separate anymore, but people have multiple online identities. So your work online identity might have different needs than your personal identity. You might have different needs than a small business identity. And each of those have different needs for sharing. We also found that a lot of it was very doom and gloom. Um, a lot of it was um, very boring and stiff. And so we wanted to bring a level of fun and engagement. Uh, I was an academic librarian. I was the head of IT for a university library in Tennessee. And a lot of the initial thought process about why I wanted to build this particular tool came about because we, we ourselves wanted a better idea of what was going on in our building. I was surprised by how much the librarians embraced this idea of being a platform for learning in the library and using the library space and, and giving access to learning to their community. Staying on top of technology, you know, that is something that we still has I feel like we're very much on top of it, but has proved to be um, even bigger. I mean, it's sort of, you know, one of these things where the more you know, the more you realize that you don't know. Um, and originally, our, we kind of had this idea for a big community wiki, and we were going to kind of, um, it was less patron focused, um, and, it, and it was kind of this just big, nebulous kind of project. Um, and, and as Jason was talking about, going and doing the human-centered design training was a really um, positive thing for us. And I came back and assembled a team at our library, and we went through and did a, a half day of design thinking training. 